Great here with a T14 replay on Siegfried Align. It's been a while. It's been about three weeks, actually. Uh, the reason being is Wargaming, uh, when they released 0 0.88, screwed up the replay system for all previous versions. I don't mean the normal thing where you can't replay previous versions. Um, I actually kept my 0 0.87 directory around so I could do these replays, but the preferences file got screwed up which was causing severe problems. Uh, fortunately, someone figured it out, and uh, instructions are floating out there on how to fix it, so I fixed it, and now I can actually record these things. So as always with my heavies, I'm moving into uh, to Prowl in town. I believe one of my C3 replays actually has me in this position. Having seen that replay several times, I'm actually a bit more cautious coming around the corner. Now this highlights the importance of proper angling. I'm facing off against a KV-1S. There's one bounce already. He's got the 122 millimeter gun. I only have, I believe, it's 50 millimeters of armor on my front. Now it's wonderfully, wonderfully sloped. There's the second bounce, but if I don't angle just right, he can still penetrate through it. So he disappears. I see this T-49 up in the distance and I just want to get a nice shot to push him back over the hill. And I think it's safe if I move forward again and this time I'm actually going to hide my lower glacis behind the rubble there which gives me a good angle on that uh, KV-1S again. Unfortunately, he's got a decent angle. There are bounce a shot off the uh, the T49. My tracks eat the next one. Bounce another one. I'm just waiting my teammates whittle down that KV-1S. Now I figure it's the time to push forward. I know I'm going to take that shot from the T49. But I figure with the KV-1S at 20 health, I could kill him. The Churchill 1 takes him out. I think it was the Churchill 1. No, it was our KV-2. So I go to move the uh, Churchill 1. Or support the Churchill 1, I should say. And now we're right in the thick of it again. Fortunately, these buildings keep getting in the way. I try to get through the front armor of this 3601. Fortunately, it is a fool's errand with this gun. It, you just have to hit it perfectly. I thought I had a decent angle there. Maybe he would uh, put one into my tracks, but I was wrong, so I took some damage. KV2 didn't get. It doesn't get the shot, but somehow. I got a good shot there. I don't know where I hit him on that. I figure the AT2, the T1 Heavy, and the uh, the SU-85 can take out the BDR. And uh, what else is over there? Well, there's two tanks over there. I figured they could take them out. I know we still have a couple of TDs on this ridge. So I figure I'm better used by pushing up and over this ridge. Here I am, trying to keep a good angle on that T-49, looking for the Stug that was behind me. Bounce one shot, bounce a second shot, and take him out. All that's left is the enemy Artie. I light him up, and looks like our KV-2 takes him out. So, fun little engagement definitely highlights the need to always think about angling your armor um, because <laughs> how there's just a ton of damage that I mitigated. I probably should have been dead against that KV-1S in two shots and uh, I simply wasn't. There you go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this replay. Have fun.